Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser. And I am the Restless Johnny B. But together we are Modeling, Modeling for Advantage. <laughs> May Project Z May. Warlord Games uh, Zombie Apocalypse Story True fact There's a lot of zombie games out there, right? There's a fair few, yeah Yeah, yeah. the modern setting so, so this is theirs It's had a it's had a relaunch recently It's just a straight up reprint yeah. You know, it's a little bit different So will I get the box open, Jibbers? Or do you want to tell them, uh, tell them what it says? Uh, I can tell you what it says in the back here It says, fight the dead, fight the living At all costs, survive uh, is it all company? <laughs> fight! Fight! Right, in here you get a rules manual, which is kind of handy. Yes. Survivor's Guide for Dummies, really handy. Ooh. Two rules and weapons reference sheets, which is actually quite handy. You get ten plastic survivors, six plastic bike gangers, or four bike gangers and two bikers. Uh, Twenty-three plastic zombies, ten combat dice, blah blah blah, cards, stuff, things, things. Nice. Fact. Right, so, uh, yeah, like I said, there's the... A nice little an entree service of these. Oh, so right. sprue wise, oh, you get your sprues, oh. some of which have got integral bases. So they look like dudes. They're the dudes. They look like bikers. They're the yeah. And they look like zombies. Zomboids. Is it one sprue? I think you. Couple of sprues of zombies. Yeah. But one's girlies, one's boys. I think. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's what it is. I was thinking they're not, Male they're not female, identical. Yeah. And neat, cool stacking system of sprues. They all lock into each other. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, mate. Why can't all sprues do that? Look at that. Why hey. can't they all do that? And then spare bases. Presumably you've got more zombies than you get bases on mm. there. Um, so in addition to that, I'm going to give you, give Ooh, you the sprues. The um, it's deck of cards. Bunch of zombies card. Proprietary dice. Assembly guides for your different kits. T uh, game cards, rules manual, survivor's guide, and then all of your all the whoops, tokens. <laughs> including That's a, load of tokens. a proprietary rule. Oh, perfect. Just in case. Packed by, can you guess, John? Morella, please. Morella! Yay! Those are those are the things. Now, have actually played this game with Gary. Yes, it's entirely possible that you've seen a game of this before. You've seen a review of what most unusual for us. Yeah. Um, and if I can tell you straight up what is good about this game, go is, on then. That's the rules manual. Oosh. <laughs> Done. It is twelve pages long, including the front and back cover. Including misprints <laughs> and misspellings. And now, <laughs> it is not. It is not an unflawed. Thing um, there are sometimes there are typos. Yes, in, there is in, a few in, typos in, in here. Um, but the point about this game is it doesn't take very long to play, provided you don't go too big. Like all games, standard. If you want your game to be longer, add more models. If you don't like how long it takes to play the game, reduce the number of models. That is in your hand, that sir. Are in your hand. Um, but we we played games that take about an hour. With with about six, really, yeah, with about six, six guys, so or three cards, yes. Because the way you build them, this is this is to say, it, well, I wouldn't say it was miniature agnostic because it's got rules for the miniatures it provides you with. Yeah, but it's like your your force will consist of, as you just said, there three to four cards is the three to four cards the, the spot to be. So interestingly, this card was in there separately, bunch of zombies. I think you can. It's intended more as a co-op game. That's different, yeah. So um, I'm playing a team of survivors, you're playing a team of survivors, and we're trying to get some loot. Mm -hmm. Or in the case of this kit, this is why you've got the, you're like biker gang. The biker They're like gang. the bad guy survivors. Oh, yeah. And the good guy survivors. So you can fight. And the question is whether you're fighting each other or fighting the zombies. Mm -hmm. Hopefully well, the zombies kind of both, isn't it? get the other guy. Yeah. Yeah. That is quite uh, ingenious about this. Is It's not just... Yeah, and you versus the way you build a team then is you say you have. I'm going to take three cards. Yep. Yeah. So what you got? So what are you for doing? example, survivors. You going for survivors? Are yeah. You're doing a survivor team. Go so on. you might take this one, the biker gang companion. Oh, yeah. So he's the one with a pillion rider. Oosh. Yeah. Nice. 
Um, and I think the pillion rider is important because the biker can't really shoot. It's lovely. Yeah, but that's you, one you, of So you have a guy on the back firing, right? Um, and he's got special stats. Yeah, so not only has he got a move of 10, and he gets a grit token, and grit tokens are really useful. They allow it's you to reload, yeah. reload, things like that. Three defense, plus one in melee, and no shooting bonus. Compared to regular gang bikers, they don't get the bonus at fighting, but you get two of them. Right. Yeah, so you might have got this guy, I've got this guy, and then... And then have some dudes. Gang prospects. So these are just move Foot sloggers. Foot. Yeah, man. Foot sloggers. So these guys have all got slightly different stats and different rules. The bike gang leader, he's got an extra wound. So you have to kill him twice. Oh. Um, he's got a ram result. Um, and he's got a melee too. He can declare two melee attacks against one or several targets. These can be used to finish off shocked enemy miniatures. Um, so, uh, yeah. Whereas this guy, the, the, where they get a pair of them, mm. they don't have the extra wounds, they don't have the melee bonus, and these guys don't have anything at all. Just including... Chains, man. Chains. They and... don't even have the run rule, which survivors get. Okay. So these guys can't even double move. I think it's four inches rather than a double move, hmm. extra four. So you make your gang up out of out of your card selection, and then how they're armed is down to you, because all of the weapons have got their own pros and cons. Modelling for advantage. Model for Fact. advantage. Now, that's a pro the, tip in this game. Pro modelling for advantage <laughs> tip, having reviewed this weapons table, <laughs> is what you want is the grenade launcher. Is that it? Is that the, everyone yeah. How many the grenade, grenade launchers on those pros? Um, you don't actually, well, it depends. I don't think you get any. You get one, maybe? Because the grenade launcher, uniquely, um, has got four attack dice rather than the usual three. And it doesn't have a reload problem. It doesn't have a reload problem? No. Mate, I thought there was one on here, but I'm not seeing it. Is there not a rotary one? I thought there was for the police officer on the mouse sprue. But for the life of me, I cannot find it now. No? That is odd. Okay, because in the one game I've played, the grenade launcher. Yeah, there's a policeman, the right? Weapon. The grenade launcher. Yeah. Um, so that's um, and in terms of, in terms of the way that the game plays out, rather than necessarily how it works, is you can the zombies are terrible, but the number of zombies generated each time, each turn, is very large. So in the, in the standardish game, you're going to have four zombie spawn points. Right. And each spawn point generates two zombies a turn. So they're going to mount up pretty quick. They're going to mount up pretty quick. And although you can often kill them by shooting at them, you usually, you only kill on the on these proprietary dice. Like proprietary things. On the lightning bolt, I think, which is a six, effectively. There's only a one in six chance for every wounding hit that you actually kill the zombie. So you don't take them out that quickly. Um, and they just start stacking up. Yeah, the, the next one is 50% of the time you knock them down. And say, okay, so if they're knocked down, you can insta-kill something that's knocked down. But you have to run up and But you've got to run up it, right? and curb stomp it, exactly. That's not where you want to be, man. That's not <laughs> where you want to be. No, and everybody in the game has, has, has got the one, the one hit point. I'm trying to remember the survivor's guide. Yeah, the, so this is missions, mainly. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so separate the rule book out from the missions. Once you've played the game for about 10 minutes, you really you really only need this sense, to check. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the reason it works as largely as a, as a kind of co-op or, or, or antagonistic, but the zombies are a third party, is um, the, the I move, the person with initiative moves, the other person then moves, then the zombies move. But the zombies move four inches towards the nearest enemy. Oh, sweet. So you can, you can position your dude bros. Yeah. Can, can, can so we, in, the, in, you the, know. in the, all the games I've played, the objective is to be further away from the zombies than the other guy. And that really makes your game a lot easier. Wow, well, yeah. Legit. Yeah. Um, and to deal with the ones that you know are going to have to, you're going to have to confront. Yeah. Um, so I think it would be a nice, an, an interesting game to play with lots of people, each with a small number. Just three three people. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. three dudes. Absolutely. That's under your command, yeah. Yeah. 
Um, but there's absolutely nothing to stop you from giving an assault rifle to just an ordinary goon. Because the liability of the assault rifle is where these other tokens come in, is the reloading. When you fire an assault rifle, That's a big thing, yeah. you get you a get the double. double reload problem. And there's a, there's a, there's a, in the end step, everybody tries to reload. And you've got maybe like a 50% chance of reloading, 35% yeah. chance of reloading. And with a, with a weapon with a special reload, like an assault rifle, you fire on full auto or a shotty or whatever. The problem is that you, you, that's two. <laughs> yeah. So you could be out of action could for be like action the rest of the game ages. potentially, right? Yeah. But that's where that grit thing comes that's in. That's where the grit comes in. The grit allows you to pass a reload test. And a lot of the heroes have got bonuses to hack to their reload. They've got, like, you know, clips and bullets and right. other such special abilities. So you can give them powerful weapons and they will reliably reload that's them. good. Um, but also with those special characters, as you pick in, the more capable ones have less grit. So there are some characters you get on their own and they're crap, but they come with a load of grit. Right. Or they might come with a or mechanic the that allows you to get them. So that's your ganger cards. You then have sort of mission objectives. Um, and they're, so they're, or, or loot, as they are. And then finally, you have a deck of cards. You have a hand of five cards. And these are basically just, I didn't like that dice roll. I want this one instead. Okay. Or more importantly, I want this as well. As well. So you can stack these, them on these top of the dice as well. rolls yeah. or yeah. replace and you, them. You have a hand of five, you, you draw back up to five. And I think if you ditch your whole hand, you get a grip or something like that. Yeah, that sounds, some, that some, sounds right. Something like that. Um, it's, not a com it's not a complicated game to learn, and it's not a complex or skilled game to play. <laughs> really? Well, yeah. It's a fun game Stay away from the to zombies. play. Um, I... I it, the thing, I, I guess, to talk about it as a starter set, I mean, the, the thing that's missing from this is scenery, but that's obviously keeping the price a bit more competitive. Yeah, yeah. You know, it is, a, it is a modern apocalypse thing, and a lot of people with World War II battlefields with hedges and trees or whatever... Just, yeah, dump them on, right? You can, you can just dump them on, but if you want to build that urban battlefield... There's some work there. I mean, I thought there was a paper map with this, but there it's isn't. Is there mm. not even a paper map for you to stick a few cardboard buildings on? But all of those things cost money. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I know Sarissa makes some stuff specifically for like a military compound, which Gary's Sweet. got. You know, in concrete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Box. Um, and so forth. So you want, you want to show them the sprues? I mean, you do get a fair amount of plastic in here. It's nice that all four are different. Yeah. Or, yeah, four sprues, each of which is uh, different. You get your biker gang. Obviously, there's less Dubros on there. Um, but there's some interesting little options. You know, the, the guy resting on the back. Is there a bird with a bazooka on this sprue? I'm sure there is. Isn't that in the, in I feel the like smiles? I feel like I'm familiar with these, uh, <laughs> these sprues, but nothing looks the same. I'm sure there is a zooka option. Because the sprues have been around for a little while, haven't Yeah, they? yeah, yeah. For sure. Anyways, you get your bikers, which is cool. Who doesn't like bikes? Mm. And uh, they're cool bikes. They're, and they they're, are they're cool uprights. They're Harley, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get your male survivors. There is a female survivor set as well. Um, right. In regards to the weapons, you might need to source some third party to do some uh, modelling for advantage because, you know, you've got very limited options on here. There are some assault rifles, some pistols. There's a shotgun here and there. There's a baseball bat. Yes. There's a cricket bat, yes. I can tell you that. Um, melee is quite important. One of the, one of the key melee options is, is yeah. do you take a long arm, like a rifle yeah. or a shotty, or do you go for like pistol and baseball bat? Well, you don't need to reload a baseball bat. So. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I'm going and Generally, that. you're going to kill the zombies by having knocked them down. So as soon as they're on their butt, you can just... Then, roll then it's auto-kill, yeah. Uh, and the zombies, obviously, you kind the of need them. There's yeah. a male and female sprue of these. And they've got some nice little touches here. Like there's a dude, there's a there's a fat zombie with uh, carrying his carrying his carrying little. He's, he's got his catheter on. Yeah, whatever. yeah, he's got everything his there. It's fluid. Stuff, yeah, um, yeah. There's quite a bit of character to them. Yeah, I mean, and, and even even instructions yeah. on how to build them, which is nice. You get a couple of prone ones with tire tracks through the spine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you think the zombie four is like <laughs> just just the body. Stilettos on along. zombies. I yeah. mean, what is there? Yeah, what and the, to like. And so, of the twenty zombies you get, they're characterful. They're each they're, there's it, twenty yeah, unique yeah, zombies here. Yeah, completely. You know. Is that enough though? You've played the game. Do you quickly mm. get past twenty zombies? 
So probably not enough to play the early, but you're putting eight zombies down a turn, aren't you, on, an, on a normal game? Just see what it says you should do in the One first mission. Year. Does it say in the very first mission? Because you put two down per spawn. Yeah. And then halfway through the game... Doesn't it escalate? It doubles. <gasps> so yeah, like in this very, very first mission, it's got four zombie spawn points on it. So you put eight down in turn one. You Oosh. put eight down in turn two. Oh my. You haven't got enough. No. To put, unless, they're, unless they're all dead. Um, but you, you you do get through them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you were serious about playing, you, you can probably wing it. So one of the things that does happen is as, as you're playing towards the objective, substantial numbers of zombies become irrelevant. They're because just... you move faster than them and you're going somewhere. Right. You know, so it's like get, never get, catch up. get to the chopper. You can ignore anything that isn't really, once you've passed the halfway line, mm. anything behind you is never really going to catch up. So you can yeah. recycle those back in. And it's saying these missions, three by three board, four by four board. Perfect. Um, yeah, you've got all the bits that you need. As a, as a start set, I think, I think it's nice. Yeah. I like the, um, the quality of the, of the tokens. You've got, apart from terrain which is expensive to include you've got all of the things you want nice simple set of rules cards things that mix it up a little bit really like guys. the way you choose to do yeah this. that's completely yeah that's uh, the, a great the, system your policeman might have an assault rifle whereas mine might have a skillet and a, yeah. an uzi yeah you know there's there's nothing about this game because none of those weapons are better yeah. than another yep yeah. You know, you have a, an ordinary model with a pair of Uzis, does a terrific <laughs> amount of damage at very close range, but he's but never ever going to reload. Never ever again. <laughs> that's going to be like a <laughs> one time thing. Gone. Yeah, absolutely. Or somebody with a bazooka does an enormous amount of damage, but you get one shot. Oh, boom. <laughs> Once again, boom. <laughs> Big uh, bad of boom. Which this is sounds, what it's about. This does sound fun. I the bunch of zombies thing as a separate card is confusing me a little bit, and there is no. I can I can tell that. you that you can actually buy uh, a faction box of yes. zombies. Yes. Yes. Don't so, know how it's ended up in there. How this how this card has ended up in there is maybe that you need several of these, and there aren't enough in there, or maybe there's a mission that suggests. Having what a one person plays of, the zombies yeah, yeah. Um, in a basic way, but there is a zombie faction. There is, yeah. Uh, there's, so the factions, there's the survivors, male and female. Yeah, yeah, mix and match them. There's, there's the biker gang. Biker gang. There's the... There's um, spec ops. Special ops, yeah. And that's where you're going to... That kit's going to have your bazookas that's and lots of assault things, rifles and man, stuff. Yeah. In. yeah. So, um, you know, if you, if you really get into the game... Yeah. You can customise it. There are options. And those things, and, and you can play, and there are ca characters for the zombies. Yeah, there's, there's like a there's big, big beastie zombie. Doctor Zombie Face, or And there's, a, there's, a, there's the Doctor, who's got some zombie serum, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. So, I mean, as a start set, I think I think it's great as a game. I played it, it's fun. You will see one on the channel. Awesome. As a game to watch on the channel, it, it, might, it might not be so good because of the way the end step works. Every model on the table reloads in the end step, but and there's five of minutes of, of rolling a handful of dice for each model, mm. and that's a bit boring to watch. Yeah, um, we'll but, see. But it is really important in the yeah, game it is who did and who didn't. You know, it's a, it's it's a key mechanic. But I have enjoyed the games that I've played. Good, um, and it didn't take very long. Sweet. All right, that's our review. Project Z from Warlord Games. Oosh. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. -bye. If you're interested in Project Z, consider buying it from us, modelingforadvantage.co.uk. Time of recording, we are offering 15% off. Thank you for watching.